Uh, right, okay, so we've got, <coughs> we've just been presented with two floating point numbers and we've been asked to add them together. Okay, so let's just go with the first one. Um, three step process to add floating point numbers, unnormalize with a hyphen, add and then normalize again to finish up. Okay, now inside the CPU, whatever the format it will use more bits to do the floating point addition because it's got to mess about with the normalization so it needs more bits okay so it'll use higher precision internally to what it finally chucks out at the end okay so we're at, we're actually working like a cpu well the arithmetic and logic unit as you'll see when we get onto cpus right so we've got these first two numbers so we're going to unnormalize first so we've got 1.00110 and the exponent which is how we start with these things is minus one we know that because it's all the ones so we need to make this <laughs> move the binary point not that way because that will make it bigger we're going to go this way but we've only got one bit so let's sign extend so we just copy the sign bit okay you can put as many as you want obviously we're only moving it one place so it doesn't matter too much so we move it so there, put your arrow on. So that is the first number we're going to add. So we've got 1.100110. <coughs> the next number, which was 0 0.10110 with an exponent of two. So this is going to get bigger. So we're going to move the binary point that way. There we go, one, two. So now we've got to make sure these line up so i'll move that plus out of the way so there's me dot in front of my dot i've got no one zero so what i'm going to do is i'm going to carry this sign bit on on the other number just so we've got the same number of bits uh to the that side okay i have got one one zero so i've got one one zero and again i'm going to extend this to make sure that I'm adding up. You don't have to put those zeros in if you can like remember, but I would advise that you do. So when we've unnormalized that, we've ended up with two large numbers of bits, more than we originally had. Okay. Right, so let's just go through and add it together. So we've got not and not. One and not is one. One and not is one. Not not and not. One and not is one. Then we've got two which is not carry one then we've got two again which is not carry one then we've got three which is one carry one okay so we've got one not one which is not carry one now it might may, might be that we need to worry about that so we've got to make sure the binary points in the same place <laughs> So we've ended up with a positive number, okay, when we finish this exercise. We don't know what the two original numbers were. We're not going to worry about that, okay? But that's what we've ended up with. We've got to normalise that, though. So if we look from this edge, that is the last zero. That was the sign bit, not positive. That's last zero. So we're going to move the binary point that way. So we've got one, two. So my mantissa is 0 0.10010. Zero, zero, I've only got six bits. So I've actually lost two bits of precision with this rubbish format. Which is why the proper floating point format for single precision uses 23 bits. Well, 24 if you include the sign bit. 24 bits okay for the mantissa and that's single precision double precision uses a lot more okay because six bits isn't very good but you wouldn't want to mess about with 32 bit values and things in an exam situation okay so we end up with that for the mantissa we moved it twice okay and we moved it that way so we end up with plus two everybody get that no. no. Where do you go wrong? I don't know. Did you make sure that you sign extended? Oh, 
that with zero as well. Ah, it was because it was a negative. You have to you whatever. The, it's why we call it sine extend. Whatever is the most significant bit, duplicate it. If it was a positive number, you would be duplicating zeros. On that end, always just put zeros in. Okay, but this end you've got to extend the sign. <coughs> okay, so yeah, that's a good example of precision in floating point. If we were using a better format, we'd have been okay. You know, how many bits did we actually need? We needed eight, didn't we? We could have got away with eight bits and held that value. So we've actually added two numbers together and lost some, which might not matter for our application. But if we were adding loads of numbers, thousands of these numbers together, and every time we did an addition, we lost a bit of precision, the number we had, would have at the end would be way out. Okay? We can write a few programs to demonstrate this, uh, and we will look at that on the computer. Okay? Next week we'll do that. Right, okay. So the next one. Two negative numbers this time. Right, so we start with step one, unnormalize. So we look at the exponent. It's four this time. So this is going to get bigger, so we're going to move the binary point that way. So well, let's put 1.0, 1, oh, oh, oh. I'm just going to throw a load of noughts on, just a few. Okay, because I'm moving the binary point. So I'm going to move it four to make it bigger, which goes to the right. One, two, three, four. So the binary point is there. So my number that I'm going to add up is 10100 zero, one, zero, zero, point and then we've got three zeros currently. Okay, the next number was 1.0010. Oh, oh, one, oh, oh. Looking at the exponent is not. Do we need to unnormalize it? No, there is no movement to do. Right, so that was quite nice. So I'll write that one down, but I've got to write it down properly. The plus is in the way there. So I've got a 1 in front. Now, because I've got some more bits to add up here, I'm going to sign extend. So I'm just going to copy and duplicate the sign bit. Okay. This way, uh, I've got 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. So I'm just going to pad some zeros on there. On the right hand side, just pad zeros. This side, you have to pad with the sign bit. Okay, so I can add those two together now. Right, so we got not not, not not, not one, not not, not not. There's my binary point. Not one, not one. One and one is two, so that's not carry one. Not one and one is two, so that's uh, not carry one. One one and one is one carry. One. Okay. Right. So that's my answer. Again, I've got to normalize it. So this time we've got a negative number. So we're looking for a one <coughs> followed by a naught. So I work this way. That's the place where we're going to move it. So we've got one, two, three, four moves of the binary point. So, we've then got to write that down in six bits. So, we've got 1.00110, and that's it. So, again, we have lost precision with this. Okay, so, if someone was to say, what would you say about this format? We would say, it's rubbish. It's way too small. The, ma the exponent's fine. That's allowing us to mess about a bit, but the mantis is no, no detail in there. Okay, so... That's my mantissa. I moved it four. Okay. I moved it this way, so it's got to be positive four. So that's my final answer. Obviously, the more steps you have in questions, the more chances there are to make mistakes. Okay. Right. Just as a little exercise, let's just find out what this number is. All right, because it's a floating point number and it's negative. Right, so I'll just I'll write it up here so we can work on it. So it's one point zero zero one one zero 
Oh, one. Oh. Right. So if we've got a floating point number, our first step always is to look at the exponent. Okay? The exponent is plus 4. So we're going to unnormalize it and then we can mess about. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's just write that out again. So 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, point naught. Right. We look at the sign, but it's negative. We cannot read it because it's two's complement. So we need to flip and add. So we go flip, 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 flip. That's the last one. So just keep that as a one. That's doing the addition at the same time for us. So we don't have to do an extra step. Everything else stays the same. Right, so we know we've got a negative, so our answer is minus something. We just need to read what it is. Now we've got the point in the right place, we can say that's a 1, 2, 4, 8. So it's actually minus 13. That's it. As long as you're comfortable with the 2's complement, floating point is no harder whether they're negative or positive. The one that you'll make a mistake like you did was when you do the sine extend. The left hand side half with the sine bit. The right hand side pad with zeros. Okay? Everyone okay with these? It's a practice thing. Okay, which I'll stop that recording and then uh, we'll do some practice ones. Right.